When we think about riders and teams in a race like the Tour de France using all of their trick bits of equipment, we often wonder how much of it is down to being paid a lot of money to use the equipment and how much of it is the teams choosing the best equipment that is available to the riders. Well essentially the answer is both amongst different teams for various reasons. But what we wanted to delve a little bit deeper into is the relationship between a manufacturer and a team. How does it all start and what do they both get out of it? Well, we're here with Enchen Quebec who are riding their first ever Tour de France and they have some of the most tricked out bikes in the Pro Peloton. A big part of that is their Envy wheels. Now, they are the only team in the Pro Peloton to use Envy wheels. So why is that? Well, I think probably the person best place to tell us is this man, Jens Zemke, Performance Director at MTN. Jens, how did the relationship with Envy Wheels first come about? Hi, Lloydie. Um, yes, the relationship came via Cervelo. So for us, for a team, um, it is an ideal situation if you have uh, the best brands on the market. So we are always looking for the best. That starts with the complete material, that uh, continues with clothing, with the complete equipment from a team. So we are talking here about the Tour de France, so which is a, the biggest event in the cycling scene or in sport. And uh, we are in the proud situation to, to have really the leading brands in development and we are looking for these marginal uh, gains. And with wheels in particular, I mean, there's a lot of choice out on the market. It's really important for a team from aerodynamic point of view, weight, strength, etc. So how do you then go about choosing the best ones for your riders? For us, especially for me uh, as a sport director, I'm dealing with uh, athletes. It's important that they have the best material, that they can't complain after the race, or if they complain, that we can uh, work together and uh, solve problems. The wheels are super stiff, so that means also we have riders uh, weighting more than 80 kilos for a tough guy. We have climbers uh, like Mehavi Kudos, 53 kilos. So you need the complete range. So on the flip side, we have the manufacturer's perspective. Alongside me, we have Sarah Lehman, who is CEO of Envy Composites. Now, this is an interesting one because not only is this the only team you currently sponsor, but actually it's probably the only team you've ever sponsored that's racing at this level. Yes, so what is. made you come on board specifically with MTN Quebec? Well, we've always wanted to be involved with the Pro Tour team, um, but we knew it needed to be the right team at the right time. And when MTN Quebec approached us last year, and told us about the team, we knew it was the right one. And we knew it was the right team because of a couple of reasons. One, they came to us. The team managers asked the team and, and the mechanics of all the wheels on the market, if you could choose which one you'd want to ride, the team chose Envy. And so they came to Envy for a performance advantage. And so that was really a unique opportunity for us. The second uh, reason that we felt it was the right team was that it's a developmental team. So it's not, uh, you know, just a pure sponsorship. It's an opportunity to work with the team to develop new product and get feedback so that we can offer the best product to the team and to our consumers. And then lastly, and almost equally as important, is the, the mission of MTN Quebec. You know, it just resounded with us as an organization and our values and the prospect of working with this new up and coming South African team just felt totally aligned with who we are as a company. So you're a few months into this relationship with the team now. How are you using the relationship yourselves as a company to benefit the wheels? I mean, are you taking the feedback from the team yes. and the riders and putting it into wheels which the public will see in the future? In fact, the relationship has already started to yield benefits in terms of product development. So for example, this is a this is the uh, NV 2.2, the SCS 2.2. It's an actual prototype that the team is going to debut here in the Tour de France. And it is a wheel that was specifically designed for the team based on the rider feedback. It's a climbing wheel, it's lightweight, it's got a new braking surface that will give the riders a 30% improvement in braking wow. performance, both in the wet and the dry. And we'll get their feedback and incorporate it into the product and launch it into the market following the tour. And the way we look at it is if we can develop a product that can perform at the highest level underneath these racers, then we can take that feedback and bring it to our consumers. So there you have it. There is a lot more than just plain old money when it comes to sponsorship between manufacturers and teams. Now, if you'd like to see our in-depth analysis and breakdown of the budget of a World Tour team, you can find a video on that by clicking just up there. 
On the other hand, if you'd like to go behind the scenes into a hotel room of a Tour de France rider, we've done that as well. You can find it by clicking just down there. And if you like this video, just give it a like. There's like a thumbs up thing just below this video, which you can click on and we'd appreciate that. Thank you.